Hey everyone, how's it going? I thought I'd do a quick video today on the uh, cost of living, uh, United States uh, versus Philippines. Now I did this based on my utilities and property taxes that I pay in the United States compared to what I pay here in the Philippines. So the numbers will vary depending on where you live in the United States and how much you pay for utilities and property taxes. And the same goes for Philippines. It depends where you live over here. If you live in a province, it's gonna be cheaper compared to say, Manila. So with that said, let's get started. So property tax. So for United States, what I what I pay personally in property taxes, I'm paying thirty five hundred a year. Uh, and the Philippines uh, have a property here. And my property tax here is only twenty dollars. Now with my home in the United States, I've rented it out, so it's a liability. Um, excuse me, a, a asset rather than a liability. So I've kept my home in the United States. So moving on, so the next thing would be electricity here in the Philippines. So Philippines, my electricity is, um, it's about 120 bucks a month. So it depends how much I run my AC. Now I was recently gone for two weeks. So my uh, electric bill was only $60 actually last month. So over the course of say it is 120 a month, you know, over the course of a year, that's uh, one thousand four hundred and forty dollars a year now versus United States. You know, my average electric bill, I say it's maybe on the low end, sixty dollars. You know, over a year, that's seven twenty. But I also have to figure in. I have um, Northwest Natural Gas, so that my last gas bill was uh, this winter time was a hundred bucks. But that goes down in the summertime to like twenty dollars. But then my electricity goes up because I'm running air conditioning in the uh, United States. So. Anyway, just on my gas alone, I want to say it's about 1200 a year. And uh, <clears throat> moving on to the uh, Philippines, you have no uh, natural gas, so that's zero. Uh, <clears throat> then my uh, water and sewer. So my water and sewer in Philippines, I'm on well water and septic, so my bill here is zero. And now for back in the United States, water and sewage average is about a, $100 a month or 1200 a year. And then um, we have internet. so. Internet here is a lot cheaper, but it's also a lot slower. Um, internet here is I'm paying 60 bucks a month. Now, uh, this internet speed is very slow. Um, United States, I'm with Xfinity and I've got Mega Blast. I get 225 megabits per second. It's quite fast and I'm paying $134.06 a month, which totals $1,608 a year. So. Philippines, if I add that up for the year, that's seven twenty. Uh, now my garbage, waste management. So waste management, even though it doesn't exist in the Philippines, I don't know what they call it, but it's uh, four bucks a month or uh, forty-eight bucks a year. On well, the United States, waste management cost me forty-four dollars and six cents a month, or five hundred and twenty-eight dollars. A year. So let me recap of, of what I've just gone through. So United States, when I total it up, that's $8,756, including property tax. Philippines, including property tax, that's $2,228. So if I do the math, the savings is $6,528 a year savings on just that alone. Uh, and that doesn't include food. So food, you could... Uh, you could cut your cost on food by two thirds. Now that depends on how you want to eat. That's if you're eating local foods. Now, if you can't give up the Western diet and you want to eat a Western lifestyle, uh, you're not going to be able to live in a province. You'll have to just stay in Manila because that's the only place that you're going to be able to eat what you're used to eating in the Western culture. And that can be very expensive. Uh, if you want to go eat a steak dinner, you would go to um, probably Resorts World. There's a um, Wolfgang Schweitzer there. It's a steakhouse. A steak alone there will cost you $120. It'd be like going to a Morton Steakhouse back in the United States. Um, I did eat at Crustaceans once in Resorts World. I spent 100 bucks there. That's the most I've ever spent on eating out here. So eating out can be expensive. Manila is expensive. Unless you eat locally, it's cheaper, but it's still not as cheap as a province. So a province is a, a lot cheaper on eating out. 
another thing to take into consideration is transportation. So transportation here is very cheap. They don't require insurance. It's not required by law. So you don't have to have insurance, but if you bought a brand new vehicle, you might want to get it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so on transportation, you're going to spend, if you take a jeepney, I think, what did I spend? It's I think it was eight pesos to take a jeepney. Now, if you take a tricycle, when I was in Manila, taking a trike home from the gate was eight pesos, or no, excuse me, from the gate going home was 30 pesos because they had to wait the line. But going from my house to the gate was eight pesos. And even living in the province, if I do take a tricycle, normally I would spend about eight pesos. <clears throat> excuse me. But I no longer pay for transportation because for one, I've bought a, um, a scooter, so I use a scooter to get around. And number two, if I have to take the family with me or we're going to go to the grocery store and get a bunch of uh, groceries, what I did is I, I bought my own tricycle. So uh, I no longer have to pay for a tricycle if I want to go somewhere. If it's raining, I take the tricycle. But anyway, uh, if you want to buy a scooter or a tricycle, you can. You know, I paid uh, equivalent of $2,300 U.S. dollars for my uh, scooter than the um tricycle I bought I we already had a motorcycle so I just bought the sidecar the tricycle itself so that was uh, I paid it a uh, 37,000 that was for a refurbished one that wasn't brand new a brand new tricycle sidecar alone will cost you 50,000 pesos here and then you have to buy a motorcycle and have it attached to the motorcycle so uh, that's really my video on um, cost of living and Philippines is the winner <laughs> save save yourself a lot of money if you live here and uh, you know if you're living in the United States and you're living on a limited income maybe you're on disability which I do have friends that are on disability uh, and the ones that are there they can't really afford to rent in the United States it's too too expensive um, for example an average one bedroom where I'm from in Vancouver Washington is 1400 a month you, you couldn't even afford an apartment you know, my friends in the United States that are on disability, which one of them actually rents a room from me, and he's getting 1900 a month. And you could live quite comfortably over here if you're getting 1900 a month on disability. But the thing you have to keep in mind, if you move over here, you're, if you're on disability, that means you're getting Medicare. Medicare doesn't work in, outside of the United States. So your medical is going to be out of pocket, but your medical here is uh, very cheap compared to the United States. So... Anytime I've actually gone to a doctor or gone to uh, the hospital uh, is where I usually go to BGC because they've got the best doctors. I always pay out of pocket. It's always it's affordable. So even I can afford it. It's, it's cheap. So, yeah, but you can get insurance here. Um, I haven't really looked too much into it. I, I did look into it a little bit with one provider and it was ridiculous. It's what you would pay for a private plan back in the United States. So I just... I find it's cheaper to pay out of pocket, so I just pay out of pocket for my medical. So those are all the things you really should take into consideration when you're moving here. Um, one of the things you will get if you're back home on limited income and you're having to rent a room and you want you want to rent your own place, you can afford to do it here. It's going to depend on where you live. Uh, I did rent a house here in this province for $140 a month. Uh, I did rent a place and it was a two-bedroom apartment. It was newer. It was nice in Dumaguete for uh, 300 a month. And when I lived in Manila, I rented a small uh, three bedroom apartment there for uh, the equivalent of 600 US dollars a month. So, you know, Manila is more expensive and where you live in Manila is, you know, price varies. So uh, something that, you know, you really should take into consideration. It's gonna depend on how much money you have, uh, what your budget is on where you can live in the Philippines. If you're living on social security disability, um, probably gonna have a hard time living in Manila. Uh, you definitely look forward to live in a province and have your own apartment or rent a house, eat quite easily and live comfortably. So anyway, that's really my video. I will have more upcoming videos. Uh, I think about doing a video about what it's like to uh, actually eat here and what the food's like and what it would be like to eat either a paleo, a keto diet or a country diet in the Philippines or eating organic, which would be very difficult. But um, I do plan on doing a video. So please remember to like, subscribe and share my videos and uh, I'll see you on the next video.